Hello, and thanks for your interest in CSC's e-recording solutions. We're challenging our customers to tell us what will you do with your extra paper once you've switched to CSC e-recording. We'd like to start off the ideas by showing you how to make an origami crane, one of the classic origami figures. These instructions will work best with a piece of paper that is 6 inches square with a color on one side and no color on the other side. Let's get started. To begin, place the paper on a flat surface color side up in a diamond shape. Fold it horizontally toward you. Unfold, then fold it vertically toward you. Unfold again. Now flip the paper over so the white side faces you. This time it should be in a square shape. Repeat the same steps by folding it horizontally toward you, then unfolding. Fold it vertically, then unfold again. You should see the white square, but with additional crease lines from your folds. Turn the white paper so that it faces you in a diamond shape. Pull the left and right corners of the diamond up and toward each other. At the same time, pull the top corner down until it touches the bottom corner. The effect here is that you want the figure to collapse onto itself into a smaller diamond shape with the color now on the outside facing you. The smaller diamond shape now has a few layers because of the fold you just completed, but we're going to treat it as one solid figure for a moment. Fold the left corner of the diamond, all the layers, inward at a slight upward angle so that the bottom left side of the diamond is now resting against the center line, like you would fold a paper airplane. Repeat the same step on the right side. Now fold the top corner down along the line you've created. Unfold what you just did so that the figure returns to the small diamond shape. At the bottom corner of the diamond, grasp the top layer of paper only. Pull upward, allowing it to fold along the top crease that you just created. At the same time, allow the left and right corners of the top layer only to pull toward the center. Help it flatten a bit. You'll be left with a taller, skinnier diamond shape sitting on top of the remainder of your original diamond. Flip your shape over and repeat the same steps on the other side. Fold the left and right sides of the fatter diamond layer on top into the center like you're folding a paper airplane. Don't disturb your long, skinny diamond shape beneath it. Fold the top point of the fatter diamond down until it looks like an upside down triangle. Unfold back into the fatter diamond shape. Remember, this was just to help create creases. Again, go to the bottom corner of the fatter diamond Grasp the top layer of paper only and pull upward. Let it fold along the top crease that you created. At the same time, allow the left and right corners of the top layer only to pull toward the center. Help it flatten a bit. Now you have one longer, skinnier diamond shape. That part was kind of tricky, but luckily there are a few easy steps now. Take the left and right corners of the top layer of your skinny diamond and fold them inward at a slight upward angle, again just like a paper airplane. You want the bottom left and right sides of the diamond to end up resting against the center line. This time don't unfold. Flip your shape over. Repeat the same steps on the other side, taking the left and right corners of the skinny diamond shape top layer only and folding them inward like you would a paper airplane. The bottom left and right sides of the diamond should end up resting against the center line. Take a look at your shape. The bottom half now pulls apart a bit, a little like two legs. Those will actually end up being the head and the tail of your crane, but for now we'll call them legs. Fold the left and right legs of your shape up and outward at an angle. Then unfold what you just did. Turn your shape around and repeat the same steps, folding and unfolding. Again, you're just making creases to make the next step easier. This last part is the hardest part, but don't give up, you're so close. This is called an inside reverse fold, and it can be very tricky for beginners, but we'll do the best we can to explain it. Let's start with the left leg. You'll notice that the leg has a deep crease or valley on the outside, which is useful. Stick your finger in the valley around the middle of the figure to pull it apart a bit. At the same time, pull the leg out to the side at a 90 degree angle. Give it an extra push from below with your thumb. 
Keep pushing upward until the leg folds inside the rest of the body of the figure at the top. Repeat the same step on the other side. Stick your finger in the outside valley to pull it apart, but simultaneously pull the leg out to the side at a 90 degree angle. Push it from below with your thumb until it folds inside the rest of the body. If you've done this correctly, looking at the bottom of your figure, you should see a shape like an X. If you made it through this part, it's clear sailing from here on out. Those two legs sticking out to the side now are the head and the tail of the crane. Fold one of them down with a sharp crease. This will be the head and the other will be the tail. The two triangles still sticking straight up at the top are the wings, so spread those apart gently and push them down a bit. You may need to spread the X at the bottom of the shape apart a little bit to help it stand, and that might require some adjustment to the wings. But at this point, you've finished your origami crane. An ancient Japanese legend says that anyone who folds a thousand of these will be granted a wish, or in some variations, eternal good luck. Based on our experience putting together this tutorial, there's little hope that the CSE team will put together a thousand paper cranes, but maybe you'll have better luck. We hope you enjoyed our lesson.